I like to call Rhiannon Cody's love story a modern day fairy tale. One of those stories where boy meets girl and then fall in love. Out of the routine of ordinary life, the extraordinary has happened. From their fateful meeting in grade seven to the following year when Mrs. Mackenstocker paired them up as science partners. Cody shared the, that he remembers not being able to think because he was beside such a beautiful girl. They were bickering back and forth when a classmate turned around and said that they bickered like an old married couple. Rihanna and Cody were inseparable throughout middle school, forming a deep friendship. They shared a, a first kiss during a game of truth and dare when they were 12 years old. Cody even declared he was going to marry Riam when, when they turned 13. Believe it or not, this wedding is not just about Rian and Cody, it's also about all of you who have supported them along their journey. Rian and Cody are very proud of the people they have in their lives. Their family and friends mean everything to them, and they're so thankful for everyone that is here today to support them in this step they are taking. My Re, on this day, I think about our past, present, and future. From when we first became friends in grade eight, bickering over a science project, to grade 12 singing and dancing in the living room and watching every horror movie on Netflix. I would never have guessed I would be marrying my best friend with two beautiful girls, giving me the opportunity to be my beautiful Brie Bear's dad, and sharing the memory of bringing our little rosebud into this world. I vow to always put you and our girls first, and always treat you with respect and honor, and always show you how much I love you. I've been in love with you almost half my life, and I vow to always love you and grow our love stronger. I will never let you go because you are the best thing to happen to me and I truly believe we were simply made to be. Have waited for this day since I was 12 and told myself I was going to marry you. The day you are finally becoming my wife, it's only been 10 years in the making. You have made me the luckiest man alive. I love you, Reed. My Cody, if someone had told me 10 years ago that I was about to enter seventh grade and meet my future husband, I'd have thought they were crazy. And if they told me my future husband was going to be you, the boy I fought with on whose coloring was better than the others, I would have thought they were even crazier. I promise to open up and trust you with my heart, to never fight you but whatever problem we're facing at the time. I'll continue to be yours loyally and faithfully through every highlight and dark place we go through in the years to come. Without a doubt, I'll put you and our girls first as my greatest priority and share as many adventures as possible together as a family. I'll keep bickering with you like an old married couple and reminding you that you're worthy and capable of every good thing life has to offer. And even when we don't get all those good things, I'll remind you we already have everything we truly need. I will make decisions with you as partners and face adversity united as a team. I know I'll never be a perfect person and probably not the perfect wife, but I promise to love you imperfectly for as long as I live.